Hello and welcome to Artistic Frog Studio. I'm Kimberly. I'm a fiber artist and i um, going to be in the studio painting today. I have um, one more shirt. I thought I was finished with all of these shirts, but um, I wanted to make um, me a special shirt that I could ride in. Uh, we ride bikes a lot on the river trail when it's not flooded. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to finish painting this up and um, want to get it dyed some really bright colors. So um, this is this will be the last one we're going to paint. I use 100% um, beeswax to paint with. Um, have a electric skillet here that I use to heat that wax up with and I have my Jantum tools and my brush in there ready to go. Um, wax is set at about 200 degrees so I think we are all ready to go. Let me get situated here. And um, let's scoot you down just a little bit here. Right there. I think that might be good. can be um, it'd be a dangerous thing riding a bicycle um, like to wear really really bright colors I do have several shirts that I have that I've made let me move this down just a little bit that's not real comfortable and make sure that you're seeing that okay and my little short arms here. Um, I'm in the studio kind of late tonight. I um, went to church this morning. Got home. And um, just was feeling kind of blah. Didn't want to do anything. I know I needed to get these shirts in the dye bath. And um, I just didn't feel like doing anything. And um, picked up my phone, started going through Facebook. And uh, Victoria with Batik Walla was on there live. And um, she was in the studio. Painting up some batiks. She was doing the, the second layer. But anyway, it was, um, it was just so inspiring. I sat there and watched her paint. And um, have new respect for her doing live videos. I was going to do this one live also. And um, wow, trying to watch comments and pay attention to where this whack is, is going. That's a, it's a challenge, let me tell you. Definitely have new respect for Victoria and um, and Emily and and all the people out there that I know that do the the live videos. Uh, uh, man, it's just. Um, 
challenging, you know. Very, very challenging. I'm using my favorite janting tool tonight. It's a size two, a cup on it. They have different sizes. And this one was left in the wax um, when I was renting some studio space. And some people, in, in my absence, some people, I guess, thought it would be really cool to um, to pry this thing that they had never seen. They didn't know what it was. Let's just pry that out of the wax. And um, so they messed it up. It's very loose. The top. So when I put it in the wax, um, there's some that comes, because it's loose, I don't, uh oh, that's too high, and it, it comes out, whoops, it comes out right around here, and uh, drip wax on me. Um, Anyway, but it's, I don't know. I don't know why this is my favorite. It just seems to work better. I have, I have four of them laying around over here, but, you know, it is what it is. We like what we like. And I just kind of have to put up with the, The extra little blobs. This just seems to lay the wax out there so pretty. Um, if you've not seen any of my other videos, what you're seeing on the shirt, um, all of the different colors here, they are washable markers. Um, not permanent washable markers during the batiking process um, the markers just get washed away so I like to draw my pattern on and um, I have to know what I'm doing. I want to see it. Uh, I have some um, some Procyon dye from Dharma Trading Company that I got a couple of years back. And um, I have some like, it's a, it's a lime pop. It's a, it's a neon green. It's just like in your face green, you know? And um, I haven't figured out all the sequence of colors and, and how I'm gonna do this and what, what I'm going to do, I know I should already have that figured out before I do the designs, but um, live and learn. Live and learn.
live and learn. My wax is um, yeah, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's it's around two hundred degrees. So my hand underneath, I'm not holding it out flat. Um, I'm cupping it like that so that the shirt, my fingertips are just touching the shirt, and. Um, like I said, really have to pay attention to where the janting tool is going. Because um, this wax is really, really hot. And you don't want to get it on your finger underneath there. I mean, it's nothing major, major. But just doesn't feel real good. So... Got to pay attention. Oh man, I like this pen. So nice. Now I did my uh, first live on Facebook the other night and um, had a lot of wonderful people join in not a lot but my friends wonderful friends um, whew, something else Trying to pay attention to what you're doing. Camera angles. Trying to get all of this done. So you can see. And pay attention to comments. and <laughs> Lose your train of thought. Not that I'm giving up. Not that I'm giving up. I do follow uh, Sandy Krakowski. Um, if you're going to try to go online or do any kind of um, business or in, any interesting venture that's like out of the box, um, she's a really good person to follow. I like her Christian values. Um, she seems to know her stuff. And um, Victoria with um, Batikwala had mentioned her. Um, Sandy Krakowski several times uh, maybe two times two or three times and um, so I looked her up and um, yeah she's really cool really really cool there's so much information out there guys you want to learn how to do anything, 
YouTube. Um, YouTube has just about anything and everything that you can imagine. I can teach you how to do it. Um, I didn't say, but this was... Um, before I turn the video on, this was already done with the janting tool. Whew, that's hot. <laughs> Finger got in there. Um, but I'm going around this just so that I can... Give this design a little bit more oomph. So it can really be seen when I'm on my bike. I just think that's going to be cool. So this um, white being around the design just helps it stand out a little, a lot actually, a lot. Um, oof, touch my finger. Oh, I'll let that dry. Um, while we're doing that, I don't know if you've noticed this or not. Um, on Instagram, Lady Who Loves Birds, she said, Tell me about the can and the wax. <laughs> and it is because I, I can't stand it when my tools slide off in the hot wax and then I have to go dig them out and then, they, then it has wax all over it. Um, so I came up with this idea. I cut the top and the bottom out of a can and I'm, I don't like to leave my tools especially after the one got messed up. I don't like to leave my tools in the wax. Um, even my son, I think, when he was here, um, or it could have been my grandbabies. Um, anyway, there there are people around that are like, hmm, that's stuck in there. Let's see if we can pry it out. And um, so that's just not, that ain't cool. So I just don't leave my tools in the wax simply because of that. I don't have a door on my studio that I can close. It's just open to the house, so it's hard to keep people out of my stuff. I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about. Can y'all see that? Yeah. And this brush that I found to use, and I actually use several of them, depending on what I need to paint in. Um, these are just 
cheapo brushes that I already had. And um, let me show you here. I have um, I have this round one. Art color. And it's a um, it's a number eight. And it's round. And I don't know what the bristles are. I don't know if you can. That doesn't help. Um, not really sure what the bristles are. I used to use these for um, acrylic painting back when I was teaching. So, um, but these are strictly batik stuff now. And then I have two flat ones. I've got to cut that off. I don't know why that one's kind of going crazy there. But um, see if you don't leave them in the wax, yeah, especially in the can. Um, this one's, that one's turned up a little bit because I guess one time I did leave it in the can a little long. And even when I, when it gets hot, it's very, very, these are very, very hard. They have wax in them right now. Um, but this one's straight. And I just really try to watch it and not leave them setting in the wax so that they, they have that. Oh, that band that never goes away, never goes away. Guys, I've been, I've been painting all night long. Sorry, let me get a drink here. Whew. Okay. So, um, let me uh, I don't know what I'm going to do to the eyes on this one don't know I don't I don't want to get I want this to be really really simple because it is going to be my riding shirt this is the back of the shirt by the way and this is the front of the shirt. So, um, let me, let's get this over and get that out of the way. Let me turn this wax off. And I'm going to show you guys really quick what I've been doing. Uh, like I said, I did a live video. And, um, let me move you up. There we go. Whoops. Okay. I did a live video on uh, Facebook and um, I'm going to have to unplug that. Sorry guys. And um, let's see. Oh, I can't turn you around. Okay. More than one way here. Let's just do it this way. Okay. So what we have here is, um, if you'll look really, really close at that, I came in and put the dots first in the moon and let that dry. And then I came back and coated, did a, did a second coat of wax on there. And you can see little lines in the eyes too. This is just just the wax. These will go I will try to get these into a dye bath tomorrow 
and um, really kind of shy doing the um, the live videos. So, but I'll try to get that recorded for y'all, okay? Um, and maybe when I do something else, I'll do a live. Anyway, um, I just thought it would be fun to do a lot of different um, paint up the same design in different ways. So, um, I actually, you know, Emily and, and all the people that came in on my Facebook Live, um, you know, that wouldn't have stars in the moon. Uh, Emily suggested that. And, um, there's one. I'm, I'm just to see all of this. It's really cool. Um, there are some really good, <laughs> some really good ideas that came out of that. So I may have to do that. Just may have to do that. And then down here, don't know how well I can get those. That little lacy look. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be really, really pretty. Anyway, I'm going to dye all of these uh, different colors. So they have different patterns and going to be different colors. Um, this one does look similar, but I, I think I'm going to leave the, um, the owl plain on that. This one over here. Um, has a um, little finesse going on with the wings there. And then um, this one, if I can show y'all that without getting in my light. This over here, the feather on the sleeve. <laughs> I uh, dripped pretty bad, dripped pretty bad, and um, Emily suggested that, she said, oh, just put a feather on there, put a feather on it, and um, she suggested the hearts also, so um, I think these are going to be fun, so um, let me set you back up here. So, um, be watching out for that, uh, video where we get these in, in different dye baths and, and, uh, just see what they're going to look. They're going to go in multiple dye baths, not just, not just one. So, so that'll be fun. Be exciting to see what the outcome is. So, um, y'all stay tuned. Um. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, um, please like and share and subscribe. That would be great. Let's get the word out about Batik and all the different ways that you can do it. Um, nobody's locked into a certain certain kind of thing where we all do different things. So, um Y'all have a blessed day, a blessed night. I think it's, uh, oh goodness, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's my most creative time, but I'm very tired and I'm going to bed now. So, um, y'all have a blessed whatever time of day it is that you are viewing this. And I will see you shortly. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.